In this video, we are going to once again attempt to compare two similar but also very different technologies, ASP.NET Core and Laravel. These are both, of course, two very well-known web frameworks. Laravel and ASP.NET Core are both powerful frameworks for web development, but differ significantly in design philosophy, programming languages, ease of use, and ecosystems. I just want to say before we get started, I really enjoy creating these comparison videos because it gives us a chance to kind of zoom out from the forest and look at the trees from a bird's eye view. Not sure that's the greatest analogy. It gives us a chance to look at an overview of the relevant technologies, the, the broad strokes, if you like. What I'm trying to say is I think overview videos are great, but for those of you who enjoy my courses and tutorial videos, rest assured I will be releasing more of these types of videos in the near future. So we'll zoom back into the forest and take a more close-up look at the trees. Oh man, moving on, I think you know what I mean. Okay, before we delve into the key differences of ASP.NET Core and Laravel, let's take a brief look at their histories. Laravel, created by Taylor Otwell, in 2011 is a PHP framework designed to simplify web development with elegant syntax. Initially released to address limitations in Code Igniter, Laravel quickly evolved. Laravel 1 and 2 in 2011 introduced basic MVC structure and built-in features like authentication. Laravel 3 in 2012 added artisan CLI migrations and eloquent ORM, object relational mapping, for database interaction. Laravel 4 in 2013 involved a complete rewrite, adopting Composer for dependency management. Laravel 5 in 2015 brought a new directory structure, middleware, and task scheduling. Laravel 6 to 10, 2019 to 2023, added modern tools like Laravel Vapor, serverless deployment, Jetstream for app scaffolding, and various performance improvements. Today, Laravel is celebrated for its developer-friendly tools and has become a leading choice for PHP developers. ASP.NET Core, developed by Microsoft, is an open source cross-platform framework for building modern cloud-based and internet-connected applications. Here's a quick summary of its history and features. Origins, 2016. Launched as a redesign of the original ASP.NET framework, ASP.NET Core was created to be cross-platform, allowing it to run on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It was built to address limitations of the older .NET framework, emphasizing performance modularity and flexibility. Unified .NET Platform 2020 With .NET 5, Microsoft unified .NET Core and .NET Framework under a single platform, simplifying development and enhancing compatibility. ASP.NET Core became part of this unified ecosystem, benefiting from streamlined APIs and improved developer experience. Key features. ASP.NET Core offers high performance, modular middleware, dependency injection, razor pages for streamlined UI development, Signal R for real-time communication, and seamless integration with cloud platforms. It also supports modern development patterns like MVC, RESTful APIs, and microservices. Today, ASP.NET Core is known for its speed, scalability, and versatility, making it a popular choice for enterprise applications, web APIs, and cloud-based solutions. Blazor is part of the ASP.NET Core ecosystem and allows for the development of rich client-side experiences directly in the browser. Blazor is a web framework developed by Microsoft that enables developers to build interactive web applications using c -sharp and .NET rather than JavaScript. Right, let's compare the popularity of these two frameworks by looking at the results of a Stack Overflow survey. So according to these results, it seems that ASP.NET Core as well as ASP.NET are more popular than Laravel. Let's do some very basic research regarding the earning potential of an ASP.NET Core developer versus the earning potential of a Laravel developer. So let's perform a search for jobs in one of the world's major cities using the popular recruitment website Indeed.com. So let's type in New York City as our location in which we are searching for relevant job opportunities. 
and let's look at job opportunities for ASP.NET Core developers. I'm assuming this search will also take into account ASP.NET Core developers. I'm going to type in ASP.NET for this search criteria here. So according to these search results, there are quite a few jobs available and the salaries on offer are pretty good. Let's perform a search in New York City for jobs pertaining to Laravel. and there are way fewer jobs available. So I'm obviously performing some very basic research here by performing a basic search for jobs pertaining to these technologies in one of the world's major cities. My advice, as always, is to tailor your research to your personal context. So my advice when researching which technology you want to invest time into learning, ask yourself these types of questions. What types of technologies do you want to work with? What types of applications do you want to build? Where do you want to live? Do you want to work for a large corporate? Do you want to work for a fan company? Do you want to work for a small company? Do you want to work for yourself as a contractor, a freelancer, or perhaps you wish to, for example, create your own web development agency? Do you want to work remotely or travel to an office every day? So when researching a technology in which you wish to invest time, tailoring your research to your personal context is a great place to start. If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavin Lon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. All comments are, of course, welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. Right, let's gorge ourselves on a few of the scrumptious details pertaining to these two popular web frameworks. Performance. Laravel is generally slower than ASP.NET Core due to PHP's limitations. It can be optimized with tools like Redis for caching, but typically isn't as performant as C-sharp in high-traffic resource-intensive applications. ASP.NET Core is known for high performance and scalability. ASP.NET Core is faster due to compiled C-sharp code and better resource management, especially with asynchronous processing and background tasks. Programming language. Laravel is written in PHP and leverages PHP's wide adoption and simplicity. PHP is known for its simplicity and syntax, making Laravel accessible to beginners in web development. C Sharp is the primary programming language for .NET, and much of .NET is written in C Sharp. C Sharp is a statically typed language which offers more control and performance, but requires a steeper learning curve when compared to PHP. Cross-platform support. Laravel is primarily used on Linux-based servers, but can run on Windows if configured properly. ASP.NET Core is fully cross-platform and runs on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux natively. This is an improvement for the traditional .NET framework, which was the first incarnation of .NET and could only run on Windows platforms. Development Environment and Tools Laravel is commonly developed in lightweight IDEs like Visual Studio Code or PHP Storm. Laravel has a more accessible environment setup, especially for LAMP, Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack users. ASP.NET Core apps are typically developed using Visual Studio, which provides robust debugging, profiling, and code generation tools. The .NET ecosystem offers extensive tools and is well supported on Windows, though it's also cross-platform. Note that C Sharp is well supported, using certain VS Code extensions within Visual Studio Code. So you can also develop your ASP.NET Core apps using Visual Studio Code and the appropriate VS Code extensions. Learning Curve. Laravel is easier for beginners due to its simpler syntax, active documentation, and community support. Laravel also has features like Eloquent ORM for database management, making data manipulation straightforward. ASP.NET Core has a steeper learning curve especially if a developer is new to C-sharp, 
It requires familiarity with object-oriented principles and the broader .NET ecosystem. However, it's highly rewarding for complex enterprise-level applications. Community and ecosystem. Laravel has a large and active open source community that continuously contributes packages and extensions. It has tools like Laravel Mix for asset compilation, Laravel Forge for deployment, and Horizon for queue management. ASP.NET Core is backed by Microsoft with a substantial enterprise user base. The .NET ecosystem is vast, with Microsoft Azure for deployment, Visual Studio for development, and extensive libraries for various enterprise needs. As mentioned earlier through certain VS Code extensions, you can effectively develop your ASP.NET Core applications using Visual Studio Code. Deployment and hosting. Laravel is primarily deployed on traditional shared or VPS hosting using Apache or Nginx. It can also run on cloud platforms, but often requires more setup when compared to ASP.NET Core's seamless Azure integration. ASP.NET Core seamlessly integrates with Microsoft Azure for development and native support for Docker and Kubernetes, which makes it ideal for cloud-based and containerized applications. Built-in features and scalability. Laravel is highly opinionated and includes built-in solutions for authentication, session management, and routing out of the box. It's ideal for smaller to medium-sized applications, but requires extra effort for scaling to large enterprise applications. ASP.NET Core is designed with a modular architecture, which allows for greater flexibility and scalability. It provides high-performance options for handling REST APIs, microservices, and is particularly strong in handling large-scale, high-traffic applications. Conclusion. Laravel is great for developers looking to quickly develop a web application in a user-friendly, well-documented environment and is often chosen for projects with smaller to mid-sized scope. ASP.NET Core is better suited for high-performance enterprise-level applications that demand scalability, robust tooling, and integration with the larger .NET ecosystem. Both frameworks are versatile, but cater to different development needs and project scales. Laravel is well-suited to PHP developers looking to build modern web applications quickly and effectively, especially those interested in robust architecture, a streamlined developer experience, and a supportive community. Whether working solo or in a team, Laravel can accelerate the development of feature-rich applications while maintaining code quality and readability. ASP.NET Core is especially good for developers focusing on building secure, high-performance web applications and enterprise solutions, particularly within the Microsoft ecosystem. Its versatility with both server-side and client-side options, combined with strong tooling, cross-platform support, and community resources, make it a powerful choice for experienced .NET developers looking to build scalable, maintainable applications. Whether building real-time applications, APIs, or larger-scale enterprise systems, ASP.NET Core provides the tools, performance, and flexibility needed for high-demand web development. As an ASP.NET Core and C-Sharp developer, you could, for example, gain employment with large corporates, and skilled ASP.NET Core C-Sharp developers can command fairly high salaries. You certainly could also, for example, build your own web development business where you could leverage Azure for web hosting and ASP.NET Core and c -sharp for developing web applications for your clients. Remote work is certainly an option, and you could also, for example, gain employment as a contractor and work for large corporations in one of the major cities in the world, for example, New York City or London. You can certainly command excellent remuneration as an ASP.NET Core and c -sharp developer contractor for a large corporate in one of the world's major cities. You could also gain employment with smaller companies or startups as a full-time or contract employee and still command a fairly high payment package. Many Laravel developers work as freelancers, but they are also commonly employed in various other settings, including full-time roles within tech companies, agencies, and startups. Laravel's versatility, popularity, and ease of learning make it appealing both to freelance developers and to businesses looking for reliable PHP developers. So I hope you enjoyed this video where we compared two well-known web frameworks. Please let me know in the comments which of these frameworks you prefer and why. 
If you like this video, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Please don't forget to ring that bell so that you'll be notified of future content. Please feel free to share this video with anyone you feel may benefit from its content. If you'd like to thank me by buying me a coffee, you can do this at my Buy Me A Coffee webpage at this URL. It will of course be greatly appreciated. It would be great if you followed me on X. My username is at Gavinlon Digital. I love reading your comments, so please feel free to engage with me in the comments section. Let me know which of these technologies you prefer and why. All comments are of course welcome. Your insights are always greatly appreciated. I hope to see you soon. Thank you and take care. ASP.NET with .NET 5, Microsoft Unified .NET Core and .NET <coughs> with .NET 5 in high traffic. Resource and especially with asynchronous processing, especially with especially with asynchronous pro ASP.NET Core seamlessly integrates with Microsoft Azure for de 